Thank you great Lucifer, for granting me this task. It is clearly obvious that we are no longer comfortable with the prayers from this so-called Christians. They are seriously trying to wage war against our kingdom, they don't allow us to operate smoothly. But now that have been empowered by the great Lucifer, I have take it upon myself to make sure that they will not be able to wake up at midnight to pray. Because I will infect them with the spirit or weakness and spiritual slumber. I'm sure with that they will not be able to wage war against us. And we can be able to carry out our night duties smoothly. Yes. That is the game plan, if not that then I will make sure they stay glued to their phone all night, so they will forget to pray. Oh my god, I still didn't pray last night what is wrong with me? Why do I always forget to pray at night? I remember you said, you wanted to go and pray so you can sleep. Yes I did said so. But I decided to check my mails, and a message popped up on my phone, so I had to check what it was all about. That was how I spent the whole night pressing my phone until I fell asleep. It kind of like a normal thing this days. I mean some people normally don't pray at night, they always spend half of their night on their phone. It been since months now and I have not prayed. Even when God is trying to give me a sign to pray, I still won't pray I always end up with my phone, or sleeping in the process. Well since you know all of this you need to take your prayer life serious, so you won't miss out on the things God is trying to reveal to you. Oh no, not now that I want to pray. I think the devil is trying to play his normal trick on me. Lord you said in your word, awake awake, and shake yourself from the dust. Thank you Lord for giving me the strength to pray in your altar, Father I pray tonight that my spirit man keep carrying fire to keep burning on the altar. For your word says, according to Leviticus, 12 verse 6 says, the fire of the altar must be kept burning, it must not go out. Every morning the priest is to add firewood in the range of burnt offerings and burn the fat of the fellowship on it, Lord I thank you for reviving the burning fire in me again, and I take full authority over every spirit of weakness of the body. According to your word in Ephesians 6 verse 10, it says, finally, be strong in the Lord and in the strength of his power. Put on the whole armor of God, so that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. Thank you Lord for waking me up to pray, for in Jesus name I pray Amen. How dare you praying by this time when I'm on a mission. I thought I have sent the spirit of slumber, and weakness to tire you down. How dare you break out of my shackles, seems like you want to be a problem to me. I will surely look for a way to get back at you. You think you can scare me away with you prayers, well that's just for a short period of time, I will definitely come back for you, and this time you will surely pay for all the pains you have cursed me this night. I don't know why I feel revived waking up this morning. Why, what were you doing last night? You know, for more than six months now have been finding it difficult to pray at night. Really, so you mean you just go to bed, without saying a word of prayer? Well. I normally do have the intentions to pray, but whenever I'm about to pray I normally get distracted by my phone. How do you mean, whenever I'm trying to pray, it either I get a message on my mail, or the phone will start ringing. That's the devil trying to distract you from praying. Yes that's true. But last night, I took it upon myself that no matter I must surely pray. And it was awesome, I mean the feeling was amazing, I slept last night without having any form of nightmares, or strange feelings. That's because you prayed last night. Listen let me tell you, one of the reason why demons won't allow you to pray at night is because your prayers bring spiritual revival to your spirit soul and body. And that will make you not to be vulnerable to their plans and enchantment. And no weapon that has been formed against you will prosper when you are spiritually sound. That is one fire from God, it takes fire from your prayers to maintain spiritual relevance to scare demons from your territory. Listen my dear, spiritual awakening is a must, if you want to live a victorious life against the devil, the Bible tells us to resist the devil, and he will flee, this will only occur when we pray. Wow, thanks for this useful information I'm really grateful. I don't know what is really going on in my life. I have been jobless for over a year now, and I still can't be able to get a good job since I lost my previous job. My friends and family are making mockery of me, what have I done wrong? I have tried everything, why is things not working out for me? Oh come on Felix, take it easy on yourself. How can I take it easy, I'm not getting any younger, I'm 29, and still don't have a job can't even afford a good meal for myself. Have you tried talking to God? Talking to God, how do you mean? Have you been praying lately? Well, 
I normally do try to pray, but the thing is whenever I try to pray, something will just come up and the thought of praying will just go off my mind. That's it, that's where your problems are coming from. How do you mean that where my problems are coming from, what does prayer have to with my current situation? A lot my dear, listen the devil is always active trying to make sure that you don't pray. Because he knows that whenever you pray, you will be free from his shackles. That is why he is always active to distract your mind from praying, whenever you want to pray. This is serious, but how true is this? If you really want to know how true it is, take it upon yourself to pray at night, don't let yourself to be distracted. Try your possible best to pray daily for at least three days back to back, and see the changes that will happen in your life. Okay I will give it a try. Time to pray. Oh no who is on the phone, let me quickly take this call. Okay, now let me pray. Oh no not again, who is calling me at this time? Hmm, this is true the devil is trying to distract me from praying, I think I have to ignore this call and focus in my prayer. Maybe I will have to call the caller back when am done praying. Dear Lord I thank you for the strength to pray tonight, Father hear my cry, and deliver me from the shackles of the devil, O Lord set me free, so I will be free from all demonic bondage, ignite the fire in me so I can keep up with my prayer life, and scare the devil away from me forever, Lord according to your word in Matthew 13 verse 25, it says but while men slept, his enemy came and sowed tares among the wheat, and went his way, dear Lord I take authority in your name and come against every evil seed that have been planted in me due to my inability to wake up and pray, and that have affected my career life, thank you Lord for in Jesus name I pray, Amen. Mr. Felix how are you doing? I'm fine, how about you, hope you are good. I'm good too. You look so excited what's the good news all about? I am really grateful to you Jessica. Your advice have really helped my life in all aspects, truly prayer is the key to all closed doors. The company that have been sending my CV to for three months now just called me for immediate employment with an official car. Wow this is good news. Well you don't have to thank me just continue to give God all the glory. Thank you for spending your precious time to watch our videos, don't forget to like and share so YouTube will help in pushing the video to someone else that will be interested in this video, and as you do so may God continue to bless you.